Well, hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amshu. I'm a third year medical student from Bangalore and I hope all of you are doing really well and I hope all of your exams are going really well as well. Uh, I know that first year university exams are happening now or and for those of you who finished those exams, uh, I hope it all went well. And for those of you who are still giving it all the best and I'm pretty sure you're all of you will do really well. And without any further ado, let's get on with this video. Recently, I had uploaded a video regarding how you can study uh, the first three subjects of your first year, that is anatomy, physiology and biochemistry, in order to score well and possibly get a distinction. And there have been some requests that have come up in order for me to make, make a similar kind of video for the second year as well. And I will try my best to do so in this video. This is going to be educational as well. Well, this video is for those of you who finished first year and who are about to enter second year and for those of you who are in second year and who are about to give your second year professional exams. And I really hope this video will help you and I think it will. Uh, what, do watch this video in 1.5x speed if you uh, want it to be more efficient. And I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks and how you can study pharmacology uh, in a better way, in a more efficient way. and hopefully in a way that will help you score more marks as well as understand and improve your knowledge regarding the same. So today's video is solely going to be based just on pharmacology. I thought I'll divide it into three subjects, three videos. So today let's talk only about pharmacology. And uh, if you watched my previous video uh, where I did talk about my second year results, um, I did uh, attain a distinction in my second year exams uh, with an 82% in pharmacology an 86% in pathology and I think a 76% in microbiology, overall giving me around an 81%. So I think I can really help you, uh, like just guide you through the process and hopefully uh, help you score a distinction as well. Well, first and foremost, talking about the books, uh, the one popular book that people use for pharmacology is K.D. Tripathi. And then another book is people use is Shambhag because they fear that they are not able to study K.D. Tripathi or they think that it's too complicated, too intense and too hard to understand. And they usually resort to smaller books such as Shambhag. But in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can effectively study K.D. Tripathi and how easily you can actually study K.D. Tripathi without feeling it like a burden or without feeling it being too complicated. So first things first, I want all of you to get a separate notebook only for pharmacology and keep your textbook that is K.D. Tripathi. I really suggest and urge you to buy K.D. Tripathi instead of any other book. And once both of this is ready, uh, keep both of this ready and let's get our studying started. So first things first, what you need to understand in pharmacology is every class of drugs, every drug is discussed under five to six broad headings. This is universal for all drugs. And it's easier and simpler when you start studying based on these headings. So when you take one drug, suppose penicillin, beta-lactam antibiotics, it comes under that uh, class. So when you study this one drug, you make sure you need to discuss this drug under these headings as follows. That is, you start with mechani mechanism of action, the pharmaco pharmacokinetics of the drug, the spectrum, the mode of resistance, the development of mechanism of the resistance of the drug when it comes to antibiotics and drugs like that and the uses, adverse effects and contraindications. So once you are thorough with these headings for each drug, it makes it simpler for you to study it. So apart from this, you need to also learn the classification of the drugs. And I know students really struggle when they see the, you know, broad classification in the KD Tripathi. They're like, oh, how will I study so many classes of drugs, so many names, so many divisions. But what you need to do is, but once you just open the classification page under each uh, 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 drug, in the KD Tripathi, you'll see, just try to learn each, under each heading, at least one or two drugs. That's more than enough. Usually they give around six, seven drugs and students might be like, oh, how will I learn so many drugs? But honestly, when you write the theory paper, if you're able to name at least one or two drugs under each subheading, under each classifications, I think it's more than enough for you to score marks and for you to understand. Okay, so coming to note taking, I'll show you how I've taken notes for each chapter that I've studied. And it is as follows. So as you can see here, I've noted down first the mechanism of action of the drug and then the uses, contraindications, adverse effects and so on. So once you make notes like this, I think it's more concise. And just the day before exam, you can also just read your notes, honestly. 
uh, and you don't really need to refer to the textbook once you've covered all these points under each drug. So I think referring to your notes is very uh, important in pharmacology and as you know, you you have you yourself have made the have made the notes after reading the textbook. So it's more beneficial for you because you know it. It's your handwriting, and I suggest you to make your own notes when you study the textbook. So this is uh, how you have to go about note taking in pharma. And also, uh, there are so many mnemonics that you need to use in pharma. And honestly, I know usually mnemonics will be like, oh, you remember the mnemonics. It takes more time to remember the mnemonic than actually remember the what it stands for. But uh, in certain drugs like morphine, you can use the mnemonic as M-O-R-P-H-I-N-E, like the name of the letters, and then you can make the mnemonic as follows, like uh, as I'll show you. So um, I think this is really beneficial. So it helps you remember so many facts and so many things regarding the drugs. Okay, now coming to how you can actually study pharmacology using the KD Tripathi, using the textbook, like how you have to go about studying when you open the textbook. So once, if I take an example for this chapter called beta-lactam antibiotics, one of the major, major chapters that, that is usually asked for 10 marks. So students are usually like, oh, there's so much text in the textbook. Like, I really can't read it. It's so much content. But honestly, and they also say that there's no diagrams. Like, how, how can I study through it? So honestly, what I feel is once you open the textbook, you see whatever diagrams are there. So in, uh, for example, in this uh, chapter, beta-lactam antibiotics, you see these bacterial cell wall synthesis. You see this diagram. So when you come, you know that they're referring to mechanism of action when you see this. So when once you read this, you underline uh, what you need to read. So as we can see, just under the diagram, there are two points that are actually explaining what the mechanism of action is. So we see that the main thing that what beta-lactam antibiotics does is stop the transpeptidation. So basically, you need to understand the physiological mechanism. So what actually happens in the bacterial cell wall? So you need the bacterial cell wall to be synthesized in order for the bacteria to live and thrive and kill. So what beta-lactam antibiotics does is they stop the cross-linking. So as we can see in this diagram, that it, it is shown that it's stopping the de -alanine. That's nothing but the terminal uh, chains. It's stopping them from uh, forming the cross-linkage. So this is in order stopping the cell wall synthesis. So basically what the text is saying is exactly what I just said. So you can fast, you can read it super fast once you make small, small points out of the huge text that's given, like the main points. So when you make notes, just write it down. Just draw this picture. You'll understand. Okay, there are terminal chains. It's coming. It's blocking. It's stopping the uh, cross linkage and it's stopping the cell wall synthesis. So I feel like that's how you go about studying KD Tripathi. You don't really need to study all the chemistry properties and go about everything from the starting. Just see the main, main headings. See, try to make two, three points under each heading referring to the textbook when you make notes. And I think that's very, uh, you know, an, a very efficient method to study as well as you're not losing out. You're not losing out on the knowledge. You're really getting everything. And after that, when after mechanism of action, you need to study the me mechanism of bacterial resistance. Again, under this, so there's a heading in KD Tripathi that's uh, referring to resist mechanism of resistance. So under that, just write down two, three points when you make notes. Just write two, three important points from the whole text that's given for resistance. And after that, it goes goes up on to adverse effects and uses contraindications. Again, when you make notes, write adverse effects, dash, 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 this you need to make down or write down all the adverse effects of penicillins, uses and contraindications. You can make mnemonics for uses and contraindications and uh, adverse effects. These are where the mnemonics really come into play. Okay, so let me give you another example that is opioid analgesics. That's also a very famous, very popular 10 marker that they ask about morphine. Uh, so I'll just show you how I made notes for morphine. And this is how I actually made the notes for morphine. So again, as you've seen, I've written about actions, it's pharmacokinetics, adverse effects, treatment for the toxicity of morphine. And then I've also written the contraindications and uses. So under again, under these three, under these, all these headings is how I made the notes and how I studied. So easily you can write a time marker upon this. Don't you agree? So you can easily fill around four, four to five pages in your answer booklet just based on these uh, headings. And it also covers, and, and you, as you know, in pharmacology papers, how they ask, they'll ask, write the mechanism of action, adverse effects and uses of morphine. So you can easily write, write everything down. So just breaking down this answer for you, starting with the actions of morphine. So here I've written analgesia, sedation, it causes mood effects, respiratory effects. So all these just make points. So here as how I used to remember, like the first letters of each. So ASMR, CTCG. 
So you can easily remember this, uh, although it's not really a mnemonic, it doesn't stand for anything. You know ASMR, you can easily remember it. So A, you know it's for analgesics. Uh, M is for mood effects. So what does it cause to the mood? It causes a calming effect. effect. And sedation, S for sedation, it causes drowsiness. So easily you can elaborate on this and write answers. So this is how you need to use the mnemonics, how, how you need to make points. And again, coming to morphine toxicity, I showed you this. As I mentioned earlier, just with the letters of the drug name, M-O-R-P-H-I-N-E, you can sum up the whole toxicity and you can easily remember it and you can easily write about it as, as a whole. So I feel like this is how you really need to study pharmacology. And all of this I've done is just because of Kerry Tripathi. I've not used Shanbag. And honestly, in Shanbag, you really don't get this much information for you to make notes in the first place. So I think... Use Kerry Tripathi, don't really read everything, make few points out of it, study your notes and this is how I feel like you can really ace your pharmacology and you can also not miss out on your knowledge. So anyway, I think this is about it regarding pharmacology and how you can go about studying pharmacology and honestly, you do this, I'm pretty sure you can score really well and get more than an 80%, not just a distinction in pharmacology. And if you do have any questions, any further questions, any queries, do feel free to reach out, just comment down below, reach out to me. I can help you in however little bit that I can. And I hope this video did help you. I'm pretty sure it would have, you can really take something from this video. And if it did help you, do give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel for more. It would really help me make more for you, give out more for you guys. and. Honestly, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. And I think that's it for this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, take care and bye-bye.